you will not believe the revelations we will be witnessing in today's episode of Mushoku Tensei, Season 2, Episode 11. Only on Exhausted Reviews, where I'm exhausted and I make reviews, and y'all, we get a super de-duper special episode today. Let me tell you guys, because our boy Rudius gets stopped by Luke. And this is, you know, Luke has always been a little sus of Rudius. But I just had that interaction in the marketplace as well. And so Luke is like, hey bro, let me talk to you about uh, Senior Fitz. And he's just like, I don't know nothing. And he's like, well, uh, what is there to not know about, buddy? Huh? You got, uh, you got something you, uh, nah, you're not supposed to know? He's like, listen, Blurro, listen, <laughs> I just want to go home, man. And so he's like, I'm just going to go, man. I, I swear I won't snitch, man. So he runs off. And that becomes the base setup for this episode is, it is the word gets back to the princess. And she's basically like, bro, while we were out, Rudius came up to try to talk to Silent Fitz. Like, who does that? Who talks to Silent Fitz? You get this guy over here trying to talk to me while I'm disguised as you. No one's supposed to talk to me. What the heck is going on here? So he's like, so she's like, bro, you, you got two options, okay? Never talk to him again or expose yourself. <laughs> expose yourself. Uh, uh, I didn't mean it like that, but also that, that kind of works because in, if you saw this episode, you know what happens. So she's like, bro, take priority over your feelings. What do you want? Muster up the courage to say it. What, tell Rudy what you want. And Sophie, God bless her soul. She's like, I, I want to marry Rudy for life. Married for life. We marry for life. And that's a good, that is just so wholesome, so fun, so nice and calming for, for anyone who's really seen the show. Because you guys all know that Rudy is a bit of a, a pest, we'll call him. And for Sylphie to you know, see past that and see some, even through some of his, his newer tendencies she still has those strong feelings for him she still sees him as the kind young man who saved him from those bullies and that's, that's the kind of guy who he's been trying to be too so she sees rudy as the man that he's trying to be and that really makes a lot of difference that makes a lot of difference when it comes to your perception of people and thank god for rudy who's actually trying to be a good person right now even if it is to cure his ed he is still trying to like take a back seat to things so there's like well so it, and it's funny seeing them go through memory lane because we really don't get to see most of this episode was from selfie's perspective so it's nice to see that they are at least hanging out and like i feel like this scene was like a bunch of different selfie stories in the in the light novel that were just rearranged and put here so we can like have a bit of a more narrative through line throughout the episode so it's, that's why it shows them like going from place to place because just like different vignettes of them talking about rudy so she's like yeah you know rudy saved me when i was bullied for the color of my hair that was a fond memory it's like another memory is that one time rudy thought i was a boy and one time it rained so we had to get he had to go take a bath then he stripped me naked and he took them like <laughs> and she's like literally just like putting on her full fully formed like submissive and breathable face and you know she the princess is always like yo you're a little weird like tell me exactly what you want to do after you marry Rufy, uh, rudy and she's like oh well <laughs> i know rudy's a little pervert you know sometimes she might ask me like oh how many kids do you want and she's like oh well how many times do you want me to get pregnant and he's gonna be like oh i want you to get pregnant a lot and i'm gonna be like oh then i guess i better get ready <laughs> like bro she was literally just talking about being she she gets so literally she gets so horned up. She basically starts like humping this lamb, bro. She is literally <laughs> she is so horned up right now. <laughs> she is DB for Rudy, and you know what? Hey, I'll give it to her. She spent so long masquerading as a man. Uh, when in her heart, she is truly just a submissive and breedable elf girl, and I feel like that kind of pretending for that long would drive anyone insane. So guys, let's just take a second and leave a like submissive and breedable tomboys you, you got to at this point i mean if sylvie humming this lamp isn't going to convince you to like this episode i don't know what will and that is when we start to lead into the plan and the plan is like listen so she she makes an, an elaborate plan for Ru sylvie to go find rudy at lunch and of course rudy at lunch is hanging out with julie you can see julie right here 
you can see uh body Gadi and zanzibar so he has he literally has like a nice little friend group including a demon king too of course they sit in like the back corner too so she comes up to him and she's like hey rudy you know uh can i can i borrow you for a second she's like yo there's a flower that we need to go we need to go get, get a flower because my friend is in town and she can't get the flower so we're gonna have to go get it ourselves and it's funny because they, they barely literally spends like three minutes being like oh i have friends who come she's like no we can't do it and he's like oh well then we should just like go call go talk to them she's like no we can't talk to them he's like okay well i'll call my party we can no it should just be me and you she's like bro literally she's just like <laughs> trying to get him out there and it's good that you know they're able to get there and she's she's kind of a uh, Sophie, you know, for all of her posturing as fits, Sophie's a little bit of a horn dog. I'm not gonna lie, she kind of has that that Rudy's dog in her. She's talking about how she's like, well, I'll have to give you a bodyguard fee at some point, and she's literally thinking of like, oh, like I'm buying him like a like some kind of uh, worker of the opposite sex. So she's literally thinking about pipping him out, I guess. <laughs> And they're walking, she's like, he's Rose melting the snow. And she's like, you know, that's a nice staff you got there. Do you mind if I hold it? And the reason she holds it is it's a little bit of manipulation. She's trying to make his magic a little weaker. It's actually funny. She starts, she uses her magic ring to call a rainstorm. And he's like, oh boy, I better dissipate that. And like, without even noticing, it's funny because it, the thing is wrapped up. But he's trying to, he's trying to stop the rain. But she's literally like right behind him using like disturbed magic or like just trying to make it like she's literally behind him trying to make it rain. <laughs> and bro, she turns around and she's like absolutely beat, bro. She's absolutely worn out. And it just goes to show like Sophie <laughs> is so quick on her feet. She's like, I will make this plan work. And even even if it costs me all my mana. And it's it's so <laughs> the this setup. The way they set up Rudy is so funny here. Like, this is definitely a setup, you know? We know Rudy's being set up. Rudy doesn't know. But, like, this setup is so funny because the plan is Rudy... Uh, the princess was like, well, you, I remember that story you told me about you guys getting caught in the rain and getting naked together. So why don't we just do that again? It worked before. We'll do it again. So they get into this cave and Rudy's like, all right, this is mad sus. You know, I'm just going to, like, keep doing what I got to do. I'm going to dry my clothes. It's sus, but, like, yeah. I, want, I would take off my pants, but I don't want to do it in front of Fitz. And she, she's literally just sitting there. And he's like, uh, look, I know elves are a little weird about seeing people naked, so I'll turn around and you can start changing and drying your clothes. And she doesn't do shit, bro. She literally just sits there. And he's like, bro, why aren't you doing anything? <laughs> do you want me to make a, uh, like a private room or something? Should I make a booth? Like, bro, like, I don't, why are you trying to get Frostbite? She's like, well, you know, at this point, I... Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to undress myself. <laughs> and he's like, you know, Fitz, I, uh, I know you're a woman, you know, I don't, I'm not trying to get, uh, I'm not trying to do anything weird with you. And she's like, but if you don't undress me now, I might die. I'm like, yo, <laughs> who is this? Well, bro, she is so bold. Any man would crumble after that. I don't care if it is a tomboy. I, any any man, no man would be able to resist. And I feel like I, the fact that Rudius didn't immediately pass out and slam face first into the fire just proves his resolve and how far he has come, you know? He's treating this very seriously. He's undressing her very, very slowly. And he's like, I, you know, these ears look familiar. And it's crazy because Rudius came here with the intention to... to well, Rudius came here when he first met her. Fits, I guess he did say that he was looking for one of his friends from the teleportation incident So it's crazy to think that she wouldn't she would think that he wouldn't remember her when he literally said oh, although to be fair I guess she might he might not have mentioned her specifically so she maybe she think it's someone else but still you know You don't it, it's it's funny to see that it, it took them this long for him to get into a situation where Sylphie feels comfortable to you know, we have to get a little bit of that in there but for Sylphie to be able to be in this position where she is looking... Uh, how old are they in this show? I don't... I've, oh, man. You know, this show is like... It, right, it's... Oh, man. <laughs> it is just a... It's a... a, a, a it's a, quite the situation here, y'all. I'm sorry. We, I should, probably shouldn't have started any of that. <laughs> but he's like... She's like, bro, there's one more piece you need to take off. And he takes off her glasses, bro. And he sees her eyes. And she's like, what is it? What's up, Rudy? He's like, yo, wait, 
Is your name Sophie? And bro, her seeing that, the look on her face, the way she changes, bro, dog, it's heart heartbreaking in a good way. It touches your heart and it just, it really brings a sense of peace. You, I, let me, <laughs> and you're just like, bro, it's, you get such a this cathartic moment of like, he said it, he finally said it. This is Sophie. I've been waiting for you the whole time. Don't ever leave me again. I've always loved you, Rudy. Please stay close to me. And beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. You know, Rudy has gone through so much. Rudy has been through so... And ever since the teleportation incident, he has grown considerably. It has been years. It's been almost like 10 years now since the incident. It's been such a long time. I don't even know if it's been almost. It's been a while. He's been at school for at least a year. So, for him to... I, I don't even know how they got to this point, but it was just a lot of Rudeus, you're being on better behavior, you know, not being so thirsty, and just also, you know, going to school, structure, uh, interacting with other people, becoming a better person. It's all led him to this moment, and shout out to him. Shout out to him. You know, Rudeus made it, and I think that's something we can all agree that, you know, this... The story, this this season, we've been building up to this, and I think they've done it so well. I think we still have two episodes left in this season, too. So, I feel like at this point, if you guys haven't left a like for this beautiful and loving relationship, what would you leave a like for? You know, so guys, what do you guys think about this episode? How did you feel about the reveal? How did you feel about the build-up? I wasn't sure if it was going to happen this episode, but it did, in fact, happen. So... Let me know what you guys think, and I will see you guys in the next video. But first, before I go, I just have one more thing I want to touch on. There was a moment where I was looking at, I, we were, when they were walking through the snow, sorry, I just, I just remembered this. I was like, when I saw this shot, I knew we were in for a treat. When I saw this, the snow wall, but I'm going to just play it right now, but I was just like, man, I love these animators, man. These guys are awesome. So I need you guys to do that. I need you guys to absolutely just melt and destroy that subscribe button and hit that like button and have a beautiful day peace